Hello and welcome to today's presentation of SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence. Today's presentation provides an overview of the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence tools, specifically from the perspective of a typical manager level end user. It should be noted that this is just part two of a three part presentation where we explore multiple business intelligence scenarios. As a sales manager, one of the most important things for me to be able to see is how my sales team is doing. And in the current technological environment, it's become more and more important to be able to get this insight not just in the office, but wherever I am. With SAP Business Objects dashboards, I have the ability to get that insight from anywhere. I'm on the road, but I want to see how my account executives are performing and what regions are doing better than others. And I can do this right from my mobile device. What I'm currently looking at is my sales dashboard showing each account exec's performance. I can see that a number of my sales reps are doing extremely well. The dashboard breaks it down for me by the exec, gross sales, the volume, and also gives me an indication of how they're doing against the current threshold point. It should be noted that while I am currently using the dashboard to gain insight into how my sales executives are doing, these dashboards are highly formatable and can be constructed to display really any kind of metric. That's really the strength of these dashboards is the ability to, for each person to gain the information they need to see out of it. Now that I've seen my top 15 sales executives overall, I want to get a little more information on how my different sales regions are doing and see where we really need to start picking up our numbers. By simply clicking on the West tab, I can now see all my West Region account executives. Along with providing a single summarized place for all of the data to be seen, I sometimes want to drill down into this information, and the dashboards allow me to do this by simply interacting with my data and tapping the different regions that I want to open up. This really allows me as the end user to see this information I need to see. I can see right away from the West region that it doesn't really seem to have any problems as there are a number of account execs that are exceeding their goals. But let's see if they're really exceeding expectations by increasing the threshold to 100%. Again, that interactivity of the dashboards allows me to quickly and easily see the data and gain insight into exactly how each region is doing. I can quickly see the majority of this region is exceeding even their annual goals, so obviously no need for concern here. Let's hope all the regions are this successful. I have a feeling they won't be. Let's check the East region and see how they're doing. I can quickly access this information by simply tapping on the East region tab. Just as I suspected, the East region is definitely not doing as well as the West. I can quickly see from the indication down the bottom that only three reps are above or near their threshold for the East. Definitely not what I wanted to see. But it's good that I have this information. Just in a matter of a few minutes and a couple of taps on the screen, I was able to figure out that my efforts are much better allocated to the East region to try and increase their sales, and that the West region probably is doing just fine on their own. Before I take any decisive action though, I think I want a little more information on exactly how we're performing. So now I'm taking a look at one of my sales reports, which is going to give me a little more in-depth insight into how my sales are performing. The ad hoc analysis allows me to get a much more granular view than the dashboard might, and provides me a good deal of flexibility as to where I want to go with the data. This is a sales report for all the regional sales managers, but the input control on the left allows each one of us to go right to our own data and not have to worry about any data that would be irrelevant to us. On the other end, it saves IT a great deal of work because instead of having to provide five separate reports for each of the regional managers, they can simply add this input control for each person to access their own data. So now that I have selected the North American region, I can see how I'm doing in each quarter in both USA and Canada through gross sales. But the US is really where we want to focus our attention right now, and we want to drill down into a few of the eastern cities within the US. With the ad hoc report, we have the ability to drill down into the information on the fly, and not have to go back to IT for more information. If we click on the U.S., we can now get insight into both New York and Washington, and really start seeing how each city is doing. We can immediately see that New York seems to be lagging a bit more than D.C., and this might be where our sales problems are coming from. To get a little more clarity on this, let's bring a different measure. With this ad hoc analysis, we can bring in different measures or dimensions to view the information. And we could do this seamlessly and on the fly, not having to go back to IT and ask for the changes to be made like a standard report. This really gives us the ability to make the important decisions right away and not have any lag time waiting for the different data sets to be, we need. We're going to bring in the customer's count to see exactly how many customers we're selling to. And just as I suspected, 
Washington is really outperforming New York in both the gross sales and the customer count. This is really valuable insight, and now I know not only that our east sales are lagging, but I can see that this is because of our New York sales office. So just in a few minutes, I was able to go all the way from wondering where my sales were lagging on my dashboard playbook, down to this ad hoc analysis report, seeing that New York is clearly the place where my attention needs to be focused. In fact, I think my sales VP mentioned something to me about this. I'm going to give my manager in the New York area a call right away and get the ball rolling. In closing, we'd like to note that SAP is a proven and trusted leader in the business analytics marketplace, leading the way in all four major solution areas. Thank you for your time today. Be sure to watch the other two business intelligence scenarios that highlight some of the other features of SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence. For more information, please contact your sales representative.